What's going on YouTube? Geosyn right here. iOS 26 is out. You should not install it. A lot of people are trying to install it right now and I do have a video available. I'm also installing it for development purposes and testing right now. You can see over here, but you shouldn't. If you are a normal user who's just trying to see what's new, you're better off watching a few videos or just, you know, going here on my article and parsing through the photos and the features. As first, it only supports the iPhone 11 and newer, so they dropped support for the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR, but that's not the biggest issue. The biggest issue with the iOS 26 right now is that it's in developer beta one, which is not even a public beta. It's the first developer beta, which is designed for developers to download it and update their applications, which also means that you don't have very good app support. And while you can install it, and now you can install it completely free because Apple is no longer charging for these updates, you're not going to have a good time with iOS 26. The battery is going to be trash, the app support is going to be trash, and it's going to be full of bugs at the moment because it's beta 1 and it's not public beta. Now, if you still want to get it, you should know that there will be problems if you try to go back. At first, you can see that right now iOS 18.5 is currently the latest signed version. This is what you probably have at the moment or an iOS 18 variant. If you update to iOS 26 and you get the beta and then you realize that it's not for you and it's buggy and your favorite applications do not work just yet, you're going to want to go back to iOS 18. But at that point you're going to lose everything you have on your phone because your backup is not going to work anymore on iOS 18.5 since your device been on iOS 26 and the iOS 26 changes how applications write files and stuff like that. So all your application data will be malfunctioning on iOS 18.5, prompting the device to restore itself and you will lose all the data. Now you're going to tell me, well, what if I create a backup? Well, if you create a backup after you update iOS 26, that backup is not going to restore on iOS 18.5. So iTunes or whatever program you're using to restore the backup will just error out. You can try to edit the backup and you know fake the supported version of the backup in the info plist file, but that has mixed results to say the least. Some applications will have no data in them. For example, your messages may completely go missing or your contacts may go missing, while other applications will work. What I'm trying to say is that while iOS 26 might seem interesting and it's been released today after the WWDC event. And while the new Glass UI is pretty nice for some people, it's not worth it to just update to a very unstable version at the moment with poor battery life, poor app support, and very few ways to go back. So yeah, especially if you're interested in jailbreaking though, you should definitely avoid iOS 26 at the moment. Once it matures a little bit, and it gets to at least public beta in a couple of weeks, you will be able to try it with fewer bugs and maybe even more applications supporting it. But right now it's very, very early beta one for developers and it's just gonna be terrible. Anyway, this video is brought to you by Flexstore. You can get your favorite iOS jailbreak tools like Uncover, Dopamine, Toying, but also tools like Apps Manager, Blocklist, Trollbox and Misaka without a computer. Definitely check it out in the link below. So yeah, that's basically it. I do not recommend iOS 26 at the moment especially if you're not a developer and if you don't want to have a lot of bugs and poor app support on your device. So, thank you for watching. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.